All right, so I'm gonna make a color by code sheet. I'm gonna, you know, this color by code, these color by code worksheets are pretty popular among like kindergartners, pre-K, even first grade probably. But um, you know, they're not that difficult. At least the simple ones aren't that difficult to make in Canva. Of course, the more complicated ones you might need something more than Canva. But um, I just want to show you how to make these in Canva because they're pretty popular. So the first thing I want to do here, I decided that I think I want to do like a fish. So I'm going to go look for fish drawing, something that's not colored in. I don't particularly like any of these. I actually found one recently that I liked, but I can't seem to find it here. So what I'm going to do, that's pretty easy. If you um, can't seem to find something that you found before you could simply go into elements recently used to see some of the things that you looked at before um, or that you put on your page before all right so I have a nice little fish here and what I can do in Canva is I can actually go look at some of the colored in fishes that they have and I could probably get inspiration from those as to what colors I would like to use on my non colored in fish so technically I could use this one maybe as inspiration and say all right well I'm gonna go with like blue green and yellow on my fish I actually thought that I found this same fish colored in before but I can't seem to find it now so I'm going to go back and recently use and look at what I had seen before. All right, what I'm going to do here is I can use this fish. It's not the exact fish, but I can use this fish for inspiration, right? Just to get the colors if I wanted to, I can use this particular fish for inspiration. Hmm, maybe. But anyway, what I can say here is I can say that I want... Maybe I want the face to be yellow, so I already have that. And this is a color by consonant sheet, so I'm using consonant. Um, let me show you how I created these little uh, square boxes I have here. You just go into elements, you click square, and as you can see, a box comes up. You make it nice and small, and you change it to whatever color you want. All right, so that's how I created this, um, these little boxes that you see here that I'm using as my color codes. And to get a text box in Canva, simply press T. A text box will come up. I have no idea why it came up all the way underneath here. Crazy. But um, point is, my text box came up. I'm going to make the box, obviously, way smaller than it is. And I just make it small enough to fit into my yellow box that I just created to fit on top of it. And if you want, you could group these two things together, right, by just clicking on one. By Well, you could group these two things together, all right, if you want. And how you do a group. So I'm going to move my board out to the way because my board is making my life complicated right now. But anyway, how you group these two things together is you simply swipe over them. All right. And then you press group and they'll stick together. Anyway, so that's how I made these little boxes with these little texts in them on the top here. All right. You know what? I'm going to delete this board until I'm done because... <laughs> My border is a little, it's complicated in my life right now. So when I'm done, I'll put the border back in. All right, but I'm going to use this fish for inspiration. So my fish that I'm making is going to be yellow and pink. Um, yeah, not the best match of colors here, but it is what it is. Um, and because I want to have three different colors, because I want to have three different consonants, especially in this sheet, I want kids to be able to decipher between D and D because I could tell you that kindergartners, at least my daughter, I mean, I don't know about your, your children, but my daughter um, had some trouble when she was that age deciphering between B and D. She used to confuse them all the time. I used to have to tell her B has a belly. Um, but still, it didn't necessarily... Uh, take right away. All right. So anyway, either way, I want to make sure that I have at least two colors in here. And I probably want to make sure and have like a third color as well. 
So what I'll do is I'll make the fish yellow and pink and I'm going to change this purple to pink here. And how you do that is I click on the box and I simply change to pink and I will go with a hot pink. Yeah, so mine wouldn't be exactly like the picture, but I'm using the picture for inspiration. All right, so what I do here is I copy paste the B part and the B is going to be on all the yellow parts. All right, so uh, everything that I want yellow would be B. As you can see, my fish and their fish is not exactly, oh, looks like I broke it. Anyway, my fish and their fish isn't exactly the same, so I am just going to decide what it is I want for my fish. And this is what I want. I want like three pink stripes. All right. And then I am going to get here the D, which I'm sorry, the B is going to be the yellow stripes and the D is going to be the pink stripes. And I'm going to put all the areas where I want my pink stripe. Oh, looks like I made a mistake here. Cause if this is B, this should be B and this should be B. And then here should be D. So what we should get here, by the way, I put the letters is I would have a yellow, a pink, a yellow, a pink, and then yellow to end it off. All right. And then this C that I have in the middle here, which is blue, is going to be the little water bubbles. <laughs> so all I'm doing here is I'm copying and pasting the text box and dragging the C. Now, if you're having trouble positioning the C exactly, positioning a letter exactly where you want it, what you do is you press Option. I'm on a Mac, by the way. Press Option and you press your little arrow button. Up, oh, hold on. Options and my little arrow, and it's going to shift my C a little bit up just so that it's in the right place. I could also simply just make the C smaller. Um, like in this one, I want this to be blue as well, but I'm probably just going to leave it because the C can't fit in there. Don't really care how, it, how they color it. Anyway, so now I've put everything in position. What I can do is I can delete my colored in one. And like I said before, I want to put back in my border. Um, so I guess this might be a good time to show you how to make the border. Um, obviously I could simply copy the border from the page page before and if I click on this page and I press paste then the border would come in the exact same position but since it's it's actually really a white box with with black edges so it's blocking out everything else I need to send it to the back and so there we go I got my page with my border all right but if I had to create this border from scratch what I want to do here is I am actually going to get a box with an edge. So this is how you create the border from scratch. You get a box with an edge, you make the inside color white. Nope, that's the outside color. So the outside color is going to be made black and the inside color is going to be made white, right? And that's how you get um, your border. This is a very thick border. All right, I honestly don't want my border that thick. I don't want my border that thick. So if that is the case, what I would need to do here, say a different color. What I would need to do if I don't want the border that thick, which I personally don't want the border that thick, then I could also just get like another one with a border, which is not this one. Might be this one that has the border. Nope. This has a shadow. Well, I guess I could just get this one. I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning. But this is also a very thick border, which I don't like. So let's just get a thinner border then. Yep. Might be too thin here. All right. Okay. So. Uh, that's that's another issue in Canva because I can't really use this one because it cannot be sh it's it's pretty much a square it cannot be shaped into a rectangle okay so it means that I do need to use one of these um, and I personally feel I remember being able to make the border thinner but I'm not sure I can remember how to do it now but let me try to see here 
All right, so the thing is with Canva, right, is it's pretty much like a lot of things. You can go online and you can see what other people are doing, but you can also just play around with it and do things kind of by trial and error here. Because it's like sometimes for me personally, like I would be able to find one thing in Canva one time and then the next time that I go back to try to find the same thing in Canva, I just can't find it. Um, and that happens to me sometimes and I, I can't stand it. But yeah, pretty much what you do for the border is that you do a square, a rectangle. You do a rectangle and pretty much you fill the inside of the rectangle with white. If I did a square, it's not, yeah, if I did a square, it's not going to stretch out. All right. Anyway, so by the way, this is how you do a simple color by code sheet. Um, like I said, you could have something more complicated, right? Like you could have like, let's say coral. Uh, it's not too complicated. Maybe I will do coral, but anyway, you can have something way more complicated. Like you could have this turtle, and as you can see, that's like so many different colors. Uh, let me show you. Let's see here. If we decided to have this, take the border out one time. If we decided to have like a turtle like this, right, that would be like way more complicated. And you could do that maybe for older kids. If you can find a corresponding picture with, that's not colored in, you could do that for older kids. But for little kids, we want to keep it simple. So for me, I would I would just use like a simple fish or I've used like a kite, a whale, a car. It's pretty simple. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys benefited from that. And I hope that you have a good day. Please remember to subscribe. This is a brand new channel and we would love your support. Um, if you're looking for us, my TPT store is uh, Janada's Homeschool. I, on Pinterest, it's Janada's Homeschool. As you can tell, my I am Candice, Janet's mom, and we're doing homeschool. So I'm just sharing some of the things we've learned. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.